Hey guys, so I gotta tell you something that happened that will happen to a lot of travelers. Um, two days ago, I got sick and I got like kind of like the flu. I had cramps and I was shaking and I felt cold, but it was warm. But I went to sleep and then the next day, yesterday, I woke up and I was fine. But then at night, every time I drank or ate something, I was getting like stomach aches. And then like at night, it got really bad. So then to, today, this morning, I woke up and I was feeling really bad. Um, every time I drink water or I eat, I want to throw up. And every once in a while, I want to throw up and I get diarrhea. So that's just like the stomach flu that a lot of people get when they go to uh, another country. I've been traveling for like more than two and a half years and I've never gotten it in Asia or anywhere. But now I got it. Uh, it was from street food. I actually even remember what I ate. It was a torta. It was outside of the museum. I remember when I ate it right away, like my stomach felt bad. But then it went away. But yeah, that was it, street food. But mainly it was because the ham. Cause, I mean, that was my mistake. You should never eat ham from a, from like a food stand. Because, you know, they don't, they don't have a freezer or a cooler. So that ham is just staying out there. So that was my fault. So now here in Mexico, um, what I'm going to do is go to a doctor. And here in Mexico, the pharmacies have like these doctors that are really economical, very affordable. And they're right next to the pharmacy. So you go to the pharmacy, you go to the doctor next to it, and then he gives you a, a doctor's note, then you go to the pharmacy, a prescription, I'm sorry. He gives you a prescription, and then you go to the pharmacy and you just get it. And it's really affordable. Um, I'm not sure how much money, but I'm about, I'm about to find out. But yeah, only eat street food that is cooked, or it's that you can tell that they're cooking it right there or that it's going to be cooked when you order it. So never, never get ham because that's just staying out there. I can't think of anything else, but yeah, just things that are just laying around for a while, don't get it. If it's a place that has a lot of people and it's very busy, it's like a street joint and it's very busy, that's good because they're always cooking it and serving it. So it's not going bad. The problem is when they cook it and they just leave it there for a while, for like hours, that's when you get sick. So yeah, it had to happen. I'm glad it happened here in Defe because there's a lot of doctors, a lot of pharmacies. So right now I'm, uh, I'm on my way to the doctor, and I can I'll, I'll kind of show you guys how it works. Pretty simple. Find a pharmacy that has a doctor like this. What's <laughs> that? <laughs> So that was very simple. I got my medicine, went to the doctor right away, 20 minutes, and good. And yeah, he says that it's, uh, it's bacteria that I have. So here we go. Basically, this was. He gave me two things. Uh, this one is to is an anab well this one is an antibiotic, so that's gonna take care of the bacteria. And then this is uh, since I had it for three days, uh, I really it's already swollen, like it's swollen my stomach and it's swollen my intestines, so this is to uh, make them better. I don't know exactly what, but it's to recoup. And then that was 110, 84, so 200 pesos total. And then the doctor's visit was 30 pesos, 35 pesos. So it was 240 pesos, which is like $20. Which in the US, in Denver, if I would have gone to the doctor with no insurance, the doctor's visit is like $300. And then the prescription that he gave me could have been like $50, $40. So it would have been three hundred and forty dollars compared to twenty dollars. So yeah, that's way better here.